year I've seen yesterday. I'll take the scrap here away and see what's worth or have see what uh, how heavy it is. Soon, come take it directly to scrapyard. You'll see exactly what it weighs. This thing here. This is cheap crap. Scrap metal. Once I'm here, cut this cord off too. The reason why I grabbed this one with my van because it's it's big and awkward you know to get in my big van I can't stand up and it's just way too big but I'm gonna take the scrap here right now directly and if anybody wants to guess the weight what do you think it's worth you know based that say 140 a ton yeah let's just dug right into my hand here base it at 140 ton figure what it's worth how many pounds everything's done in pounds i'll take this back only so we just have a lot of guessing trivia on this to see what it weighs really dirty inside it's like really it's not like it smells like like curry and just just spices and crap like that really dirty but it's not rotten food or nothing so we'll head to scrap here right now and then I'm gonna bring my van out later and I'm gonna head you know probably parts of Vancouver see what I can pick up but this one I didn't want to take this one with my van because it'll take most of my van up and then I, I'd have to lay down flat it would be really hard to get out this way I'm taking the scrap here directly and you can see it just it takes at least three quarters three quarters of my van it's that big Okay, stay tuned. We'll beat you at the scrapyard. Okay, I took that fridge back. It was 240 pounds, so it wasn't so heavy. Uh, usually, uh, like the older ones are like 285, so that was like about 45 pounds less. You know, mostly styrofoam in a lot of those fridges, anyways. But, anyways, it ended up being like 1675. But it's okay because I was in Vancouver, anyways. It did an inspection, so it didn't really matter. You know, I knew it would be an oversized and a little bit hard to deal with, so that's why I got rid of it. I got it and got rid of it right away. So I don't have to uh, end up coming back with the other van having problems, so. This girl is a, smoking a cigarette. She's got a st says stop there. Yeah. Oh, well. 
says stop, but she's letting people go through. She's like half asleep, probably. Anyways, that's what it is. But yeah, so that's good. Because if I go to Vancouver now, I don't have to deal with this, this big fridge. But you know, it shows you it could have been there for a week. Who knows how long it's been there for? I just found it yesterday, so yesterday evening. So it's been sitting there all day, basically. A friend of mine found a computer. She called me and said I had found a computer, so I wrote she bought it to my house. So hopefully it's something cool. You know, um, I'm, I'll look at it, show a video of it. Hopefully it's got. Hopefully it's old school, but we'll see. So I'll let you know. I head home now. I'm actually gonna grab that catalytic converter that I found with that engine block. It's probably the import. Must have had probably two of them, I would think. Or maybe it only had one. I don't, I'm not sure. The way it's mounted is not what I normally seen before, but it's definitely a cat. You can see the honeycomb inside it. So I'll bring that there. Hopefully it's a good payday. Some of those cats are worth a hundred bucks. You don't know, but we'll see on that one. Okay, stay tuned on that one. Here's a computer friend found on the street somewhere. She just brought it over from, from me. Uh, it's got a pinned CPU, four RAM sticks. That's awesome. awesome. Super happy with that. Four sticks. CPU. Uh, nice board. Green board. Heat sink. Power supply. It's got a CD drive, looks like. So that's awesome. I don't think she found these two fans also. So awesome day. Happy about that. So what I'm going to do is now to make it a little exciting here. I'm taking this mortar back. I want to uh, see if they want to guess how heavy this mortar engine block is. I don't care what it's worth. Just what they're going to weigh it on a scale. So what that weighs and if this is a cat cat converter uh guess how much it's worth if it's one it looks like one but so a little you know a little what this one's worth what set engine block weighs we know the stove or the fridge was 240 pounds 16.75 so we're gonna rush there because it's be closing shortly so I'm going to go to the Asian yard first to get rid of that block just in case a cat takes longer to figure out what it is we want to wait the last second so I'll drop this off it's basically right there anyways so it is pretty heavy Ugh. I don't think it's got liquid in it still okay Let's see how it goes. Hopefully they bite. Otherwise, they may have to drain, drain the fluid. Who knows? Okay, let's see that. Okay, we're at the yard right now. We've got one guy floating, and then we have one in the bay here right now. So yeah, it's like 30, 32 today. So pretty hot. Uh, a little bit of wind and a little bit of overcast cloudiness, but supposed to be I think cooler tomorrow and next week cool so yes he was uh, I think around 28 29 so it's getting pretty hot this guy's getting out there hopefully they take it it actually flipped over that that mortar and spilled oil on my car so majority fell out already so I have to get rid of this carpet in here it's all probably all stained Okay, okay I took the engine block back. One bad thing, it's tipped over in my vehicle and spilt a bunch of oil in my back here. I might have to rip the carpet out, I think. I have a plastic underlay, like uh, rubber mats, so it's okay there, but what I have to do now is I'm gonna have to, you know, figure that out, because it stinks like, you know, used motor oil in here now, but anyways, it was 119 pounds like I guessed 120 when I first found it I probably lost a pound of uh, fluid in there right but so that was good that was $14 it was like 12 cents a pound Asian yard 
Uh, the other one was really good news since it was a it was a catalytic converter. Uh, good payday it was eighty three dollars on that. It came out of a Honda ninety to something. The guy was saying a Honda. He knew exactly what it is. Eighty three dollars for the catalytic converter. So I pulled eighty three. So uh, just probably uh, close to hundred dollars for that for the engine. And the catalytic converter, close to 100 bucks, not bad pickup. Super happy with that. So, like I say, it's not just all about tin; it's all about other materials, copper, aluminum, brass. Um, you know, other materials that you could sell, keep life. You know. So I was super, super happy with that. I knew that that engine, like I say, you know, is worth something more than scrap. Which 12 cents is not very much anyway. It should have been 15 cents, but it's okay. Um, I don't care about that. So it's gone. But the cat was the big surprise because it never dawned on me when I found it. It just didn't uh, really register as a cat at the time. It just the way the um, the uh, manifold stuck, you know, to the cat. You know, usually it's a cat lid converters, you know, further down under your car, so it, it would be something different, you know. And that was right next to the, um, uh, you know, right where the manifold is. So super nice about that. Eighty-three dollars cat converter. And fourteen dollars for aluminum mixed steel block. Super happy. Gotta love that. And also four Rams, my friend, and a good uh, chip. A chip. I mean, a CPU with nice gold pins. Perfect. Gotta love that.